Welcome to this short video which has been designed to update and inform all Artemis partners and learners about recent developments, all with a view of improving quality and ensuring a positive experience. The official sign-off date of the development was the 19th of December 2008 and since then we have applied various version updates based on user feedback. Artemis now has a dedicated user group to manage all changes whether it be legislation, functionality or just the wording needs tweaking. This will ensure the product is not diluted in any way and the Artemis brand is maintained. A recent change that has come to our attention is the fact that the Every Child Matters website has changed its layout as well as its address, so we will need to update the necessary content to keep it relevant. So let's take a sneak preview of what we're working on right now. Firstly, I'm really excited to tell you we will be going live very soon with the new one-stop shop, the Artemis website. This will provide a central place for all partners, learners and interested parties to find useful documentation and how it can support the One Children's workforce. It will provide information from news and what's coming next to full implementation guides to include videos, training plans and PowerPoint presentations. Two important points to note is that CWIP course is not just about an online course but it's a point of reference for people to use as part of their training material, supervision and workshops. Secondly, it's important also to note that this is the first of many courses that Artemis will be developing and making available to its license holders. Now I'd like to show you recent developments we have made to the content. We have added the notes functionality within the course. Any notes a learner makes during the CWIP course are now stored directly in the LMS itself, thus ensuring access to those notes at any time during the CWIP or for future reference, i.e. when reflecting on practices, undertaking further courses or indeed in discussion with peers and line managers. Here is what the notes section looks like in the LMS. You can see that it retains the title of the course. As you can see from this screen, it displays a bubble with important information. This is a useful feature we have implemented to ensure learners are not disappointed if they work on the course without the appropriate software, as they could run the risk of losing their progress. If at any time a learner experiences a break in the connection with the earning management system for whatever reason, and therefore the learning achieved is not being tracked, a pop-up bubble will alert the user and guide the learner to the appropriate source of help. This is not displayed if the content is communicating with the learning management system correctly. Even though it is important that a learner navigates through each module in order that it is presented, it is also important that the learner is able to revisit the modules after completion. We have now allowed the menu to be unlocked at the end of the module and to remain unlocked within the learner's LMS account. This new functionality has been implemented and is now live. So should you or a learner wish to revisit a module, perhaps as part of reviewing of learning, CPD discussions with colleagues or line managers etc, it will be easy to access and navigate the content. This is the summary sheet found at the end of each module. Learners find this very useful evidence of continual professional development but do not always have access to or want to print off on completion of a module. We are delighted to be able to offer learners the choice to either printing off the summary sheet on completion of a module or download and store a PDF for future reference. Now the menu remains unlocked after modules are completed, this download can be performed at any time and place that suits the learner. When Artemis went live, we were unable to supply a link to tutorial videos to each module, so this resource was initially disabled as shown. We have now produced a number of tutorial videos. These videos will cover the functionality of the specific module, giving clear understanding of how the module was developed and clear instructions how to navigate through with all the necessary and useful tips. Additions to this, there is an introductory video which will form part of the course ensuring learners have all the information that is required to successfully complete this course. These can be found on the Artemis website and Artemis catalog to ensure a high quality supportive experience. Please feel free to share these with your colleagues in your organisations as appropriate to enhance their experience of Artemis. By clicking the resources button now takes you directly to the resources website. 
Once the learner has logged in, they will have full access direct from the module. You can see here we have, by using the simple search screen, entered EYFS or Early Years Foundation Stage, which has revealed a number of entries. This will allow the learner to view more detail or click the link direct to the live website. The resources website is very powerful and flexible and we have encouraged all Artemis partners to contribute to its content by providing the details of their local relevant organization and services. All us users will have the ability to add or update the contents and once authorized by Artemis Central Administrator they will appear on the resources website to benefit all learners and practitioners. Meeting the CWDC standards may be important to some organisations, so to help with this, the standards button now takes the learner directly to a matrix which maps the Children's Workforce Development Council induction standards against each module. So a learner and their line manager can clearly understand what has been achieved and where. The green tick denotes the standards have been achieved by completing the module. A purple tick denotes work is required outside of the e-learning package and can be achieved by working in partnership with their line manager. So the formula is green tick plus purple tick equals the full framework is achieved. If you want to take advantage of this activity pack all you need to do is click the link at the top of your screen to download the document. As you can see, just by simply scrolling up or down, you can view all seven standards. Thank you for listening to this presentation, and I'd like to finish off with some other areas we have been working on.